Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Outdoor Therapy. Alright gang, next week I'm going in the Adirondack Mountain to finish the Great Range. I'm going to do four peaks with some of my friends to finish a project that we started last year. So, let's go and talk about the gear that I'm going to bring over there. So the first item that I'm using obviously is a backpack. So I'm using the Grigory Baltero 85. You're right, it's a big pack, 85 liters is a lot, but you gotta remember this is winter and we're going in the mountain, so I need to bring a little bit more gear. Uh, even though we're gonna do a base camp, I wanna bring everything. As, as you know me, I love to have my comfort, so big bag, but it's not an issue because it's not gonna be more heavy anyway. So I'm also bringing this little fella, which is gonna be my day pack. He's very small. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now that we talk about the backpack and the day pack, let's go with the sleeping system. The Thermolite Reactor Plus liner, which has 10 degrees Celsius to your sleeping system. Let's look at it. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get the liner out if you notice. Same color pattern here, orange and black. So it's a liner, guys. Just put the liner in the sleeping bag. You get in there, close the sleeping bag. And then the last layer, if you remember, to cut the condensation from outside and reflect heat from the inside is the BV. Yes, the Soul Escape BV which we're gonna add as a last layer. Woo, you can get this guy at Mac, uh, MR, uh, at Cell for sure. You roll that guy out. Woo. It's fairly thick, it's reusable, got the zipper and everything. And there you go. And that's the full system all put together. Next item is fairly simple, my Z-pad that I will bring during the hike when we're gonna be uh, doing hiking the mountains because I don't like to sit in the snow. Do you? I forgot, totally forgot something about the sleeping system, which is super important for me to, get, to have a great night of sleep. I don't know for you, but I need a pillow. So I'm getting, I'm bringing my Trichology, um, the new model. So it's the Trichology uh, Pillow 2.0, okay? And I love this pillow. I really love it. So one of the reasons that I love it is it's super, super easy and quick to inflate. Let me show you. Music, please. So, two breath, and you got the pillow. Nice thing about the 2.0 model, which is available on Amazon, a link in the description, is the strap that you put around the mattress, and then little uh, dots over here that, that are rubber do uh, dots, so it won't move. Your sleeping bag's not gonna move while you sleep. I love it, I just love it. Comperdell trekking pole. This is what I'm bringing. Those are, woo, stay with me. Those are my trusty uh, trek poles. The thing I really like about it, you can see it, it's a screw, all right? So it's easy to fix on the hike. If something happened, because it's a screw and I'll have my Gerber with me, I just can fix it r right away. Takes five seconds and problem solved. That's a big plus when you're talking about pole. You don't want those that twist 
because if they broke, you're you're really you're in trouble if they broke. But these ones are easily fixable on the trail because of the screws. Water-wise, I'll be bringing a Nalgene with a sleeve. So the reason why I'm doing this, oh, Nalgene goes in this sleeve. Uh, reason why I'm doing this, sample, it's winter, and I want to be able to put a boiling uh, boiling bottle of water in my sleeping bag to keep me warm, part of the system. This sleeve obviously will make sure that it doesn't freeze during uh, the day. So that's what I'm bringing, Nalgene with the sleeve. All right, so cook kit video up there if you re really want to know more about it. But it's basically my titanium uh, pot with a, uh, a spork. I'm a fan of sporks. I know, I know a big debate here: spork or spoon. Well, do what pleases you guys. Just do what pleases you. You're the one eating with it. So I'm using a spork with my pot and and a BRS stove again. Go check out the last video if you want to see all about it. Uh, Light-wise, the trusty solar lamp that I'll put in the tent and my cell headlamp. I love this thing because it recharges with a USB cable and I'll bring my power bank, my power pack. So uh, yeah, trusty solar lamp and my 15 bucks headlamp from cell again. I love it because it charges USB, so yeah. And no, it sounds weird guys, but I'll be bringing a harness, a rock climbing harness. And why am I doing so? All right, why am I doing so? Because in the mountain, you don't know what's gonna happen, okay? You don't know the condition. You don't know if it's gonna be super icy. Uh, you don't know if there won't be any trees or if there will be trees and uh, what's the degree uh, of difficulty that it's gonna be. So if at one point we're like, hey, we actually need to rappel down. Or well, it would be really wise to just, you know, uh, attach ourselves to a tree because this is a sketchy area and we, if we fall, we're falling like 100, 200 feet. Everyone's gonna be tied up. We're gonna have RNS, beaners. We know our, our rope technique, so it's gonna be just fine, but you wanna have it. And we'll be wearing them uh, during the hike. You're just not taking any chance at all. Safety first, people. Safety first. What is this? Tasty. Can you leave without those? Y you need those slipping bag for your feet. You can get them at Mac itself, pretty well on Amazon, I think pretty much everywhere. But it makes such a huge difference to have those at camp because you can take away your boot, try to dry them already if they're wet. Hopefully, they won't be. Uh, and then you're super warm. No, fr <laughs> you're super warm. No icy frozen uh, feed there. This is what we want. This is really what we want. So I'm bringing those and they're super compactable. Like they're down boots. I mean, we're like they're not taking space they're ultra light i love them not leaving without them not leaving without them well you can't go hike in the mountains during winter and not bring gators obviously i'll be wearing the v the fall raven vita pros pants which have gators integrated but not taking any chance i'm adding uh, those garno uh, gators which like any kind of gators wear gators that's just smart just do do yeah help yourself be wise wear gators mom made me a little diggy bag i love it so much so it's waterproof outside um and i'm bringing a bunch of rope per cords in it just because you never know when you'll need that you just never never know so if something fails with the tan if we need to pull uh, a tarp up for some kind of reason whatever you need rope all the time so i'm bringing that um and yeah mom made it for me guys i love it thank you mom love it clothing wise i'll be wearing my uh as an outer shell i'll be wearing my arcteryx beta inside I've got a puffer, a marmot puffer from Costco 
super cheap when when they're available get them i'll also bring it's super 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 small as you can see it's another puffer from arcteryx it, it has no sleeve um i'll probably wear that at camp so just before i get too cold because i'm not gonna hike with it and i don't i'm i I might but it's just it can be the marmot can be very very warm so by putting that on it just add an extra layer or if, when i'm going to bed because i'm a cold sleeper guys i'm a super cold sleeper so i'll bring that uh wear it during night um probably so it just in case maybe i won't have to wear it but i'd rather have it since it weighs nothing and it makes a huge difference nice little thing it falls in its own pocket hey how much how much time the thing takes a fold a puffy coat in its own pocket huh let's start a timer here listen to the wind isn't it beautiful that's why we're in the outdoors no music now just listen just listen so the answer is way too long because i'm not good at it <laughs> Why do I love those gloves, Eau Claire? I'm a big fan of Eau Claire, always have been. Um, but one of the reasons I really love those gloves, it's that it's the fact actually that you can just take away the inside. It's an it's a liner basically. Big fan of layers. That's a liner. That's the inside of the glove, so you can wear just getting up all the time. You can wear that uh, just that, but it's easy to dry because you can take it away. So the outer shell is waterproof. And uh, if that gets wet for some reason, you can just take it out and dry it. You can sleep with it. So in the morning, your gloves are super warm and you feel amazing. What else do you want but feel amazing? Really, guys. Glove, Eau Claire, but I'm not bringing just one pair. I'll also bring the Eau Claire full uh, mitt. I believe you should bring two pair of gloves all the time uh, just because you, you, you need a spare. Your hands are duper important so you bring a spare and that's my spare to full on me and it's usually warmer to have a full mittens just because all of your fingers will help you get warmer um but you lose dexterity of course so i'm bringing both just in case again and they weigh they weigh nothing if you're going in the mountains during winter you bring a shovel all right so this is my winter shovel it's only for snow obviously it's only for snow uh, but it makes a huge difference if you need to to dig for to make your shelter uh, I need the toilet anything goes you need a shovel so you can get this one at sell uh, it's super cheap I don't believe you need to spend a thousand dollars on a shovel um, get that and it's nice because Fingers are cold. You can make it bigger, obviously. But I guess you knew that already. Now you might have noticed, guys, I didn't show you a tent. And that's because I'm not using my own. I'll be using Marty's tent. So. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the tent during the trip, but I did not have it right now. So that's why I didn't show it to you. Also, I did not show you my snowshoes because I'm not going to be using the one I'm using right now. Again, I'm going to try a different brand because my good friend really wants me to try his. <laughs> so actually, it's a surprise even for me. I'm not sure what kind of snowshoes I'll be using, um, though I'll be bringing micro spikes. Forgot to show you that and I forgot them at home but I'll be bringing my micro spike just in case. But usually a good pair of snowshoes that are very aggressive can do, the, can do the job, usually. Not always, and that's why I'll be bringing my micro spikes. <laughs> Guys, I hope you liked this video. Tell me in the comment section, what's the gear that you're gonna be bringing on your next trip? Also, don't forget to subscribe to hit the bell notification. It helps the channel big time. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next one.